Hello, welcome back. So today we are looking at this Monterey 355 from 2012, currently in Dubai Marina. So coming onto the boat here, the first thing you notice is the upgraded and recent foam teak decking here. Keeps your feet nice and cool, nice and grippy if you ever get wet or if you have no shoes on still. Other things that we've got, we've got a sun pad here with this backrest I'll show you in a minute that flips over, a really large bathing platform and also a lot, lots of seating, lots of lounge area. But I'll spin you around, you can have a quick look around and see what you think. So as you can tell, we've got lots of seating, huge cockpit area for the 35 foot boat. Uh, really nice condition, all the fabric's in great condition, loads of extras, lots of upgrades as well. But we'll go down below, you can see what the accommodation's like and uh, hopefully we can get a bit of aircon as well. So here we are, Danny in the accommodation. Where you're now is the galley. We've got a full-size fridge there, a two burner hob, microwave, hot and cold water. Um, back here you've got another seating area, but that actually converts into a double double bed. So I'll show you in a minute. That slides and then the mattress goes on top and you've got somewhere else to sleep there. Where I'm sitting now is a fixed table. You've got a very large seats, comfortable high uh, backrests here an armrest in here with chargers, so for your phones and your gadgets, and cup holders as well. Behind there, I'll show you in a minute, is the uh, central berth, so that's the main berth for the boat. Um, always fixed, and you've got the two steps on the side, so I'll show you around a little bit more and uh, give you some close-ups. So here's the other seating area. As you can see there, the two sliders on each side, so that pulls across and makes the other berth. Uh, as if by magic I can do that now. As easy as that, so the backrest turns into the other bit of cushion um, and then you've got a full length there, double berth, uh, very comfortable and you've also got a lot of uh, headroom so if you want to sit up that'd be fine as well, you don't feel claustrophobic in this berth. And then in here to the port side we've got the heads, so we've got the toilet there with the uh, seat that goes over the top and having a shower, another air cool vent there, it's the toilet, stainless steel sink again, but this one's got the uh, pull-out shower, so you can use it as a shower, um, and then it's a self-draining floor there, so no problem with getting everything wet, shower curtain there, storage and a small mirror there as well. So using these cockpit stairs here, it brings us up onto the bow with a split windscreen. We've got this huge sun lounger here with the back that comes up. So nice and easy and really comfortable either when you're at anchor or at slow speeds. Cup holders all the way around. We've even got these fender baskets here, both sides. Uh, electric windlass, it's a quick electric windlass that's um, either with these foot pedals here or at the helm. Searchlight and then the horn you can see there as well. Tractable cleats so nobody hits their toes when they're not being used. So quite a flat forward deck as well. That's why there's so much space for that large sun lounger. Let's walk back into the cockpit. So, as we come back swiftly into the cockpit, that's the end of the tour. So as I uh, said at the beginning, this is uh, full specification is on bushandnoble.com. If you want to contact me directly with any questions or a range of viewing, you can do that at oliver at bushandnoble.com. I hope you enjoyed the tour and we'll see you on the next one.